Well, you break something up. It's not even true. At least one, a maximum of two. Whoa, oh, this looks amazing. Yeah, bro, you literally balled it up like this. Oh my gosh. Is that blue? Is that blue? number one is that they feel like they belong. I feel like for kids to really invest in what we're doing, they need to understand why it's important that they learn it. Today we learned about cells and we looked through microscopes at different samples and used them as evidence to prove that all living things are made out of cells. What we basically did, we were supposed to like put the slips of things in the microscope and kind of like look at it and kind of like draw it, draw it, and then like say if it's like alive, if it has cells, if it's not living. That's my goal overall, is for kids to be able to see themselves in the science and to be able to understand why it's important that they learn it. Do you think this has made a one cell or multiple cells? Multiple cells. Specifically skills like thinking critically, uh, gathering evidence, being able to apply the information to like a real world context would be a goal for kids always, but number one is that they feel like they belong. What I enjoy about science class, uh, I enjoy my teacher, the people in my class, what we learn, like the things we do, the experiments, those are just so fun. She's very passionate about what she teaches, and she's really good at explaining things, even when they're like complicated. If you look really, really careful, even like the faint lines, what shape are the little dots inside of? A lot of the things that we do is through like formative assessments that are aligned to the state standard. So when kids are navigating through a unit, there will be little benchmark assessments that we can use. Okay, so you see the outside structure. If you focus inside of the structure, what do you know? Science is the best. Science is a place where kids can build math skills, build literacy skills, but do so in a way where they're able to like ask questions about the world around them. And there's something kind of magical about that.